So, what's it about? A group of students in the same club go around campus and try to solve mysteries. What kind of school club was it again? A go home and do nothing club? Pretty sure that's not a club. Oh yeah, the what the hell is this then? <laughs> this guy. What is up everybody? Welcome back to Moe Ninja Girls. So I wasn't intending on doing another one of these until I built up some more story tickets. But at the time of this video, they came out with some pretty interesting gotchas. And so I, I wanted to do on my video because I thought that'd be fun. So let's take a look here. Yeah, this one. Yandere gotcha. <laughs> you know, when I saw this, like I was sitting there just cracking up laughing. I was thinking, why? Like of all the things, Yandere gotcha. The <laughs> Like, it seems so out of place in this kind of story, but... I guess in a lot of these, like... Like, harem storylines, it wouldn't surprise me if one of them became a Yandere. So, it, I could see that as a possibility, but it's... At the same time, it's still kind of funny to me. But... Anyway... Let's see if we get one of them. I doubt it, but... Well, we got uh, another Yamabuki. But it's not a Yandere one, I don't think. Well, damn. Is my box full? It's not, okay. So 158, I think I have another one that's still better than that. Yep. So the one I still have is better. Okay, and then this other one, the many faces of Akari gotcha. So this is all Akari. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if we get a good one. Oh! We got a storyline from that. Okay. And we get another story ticket from that. Cool. Alrighty, anyway. <laughs> I wanted to do that because I thought it would be interesting. Looks like it's the last day of the cookie event for Akari's birthday this year. So, cool. Yeah, seeing that uh, Yandere gotcha made me think of... Uh, there was a story in Japan a little while back about a real-life Yandere girl. Where she, she stabbed like her quote-unquote boyfriend because she loved him so much. And I actually looked up that story again because before there wasn't any inf information about it after... They just said the guy was in critical condition. After that, there was n just no news about it. But I did see an article where they actually interviewed the guy. So he did survive. And he, uh... He didn't have any ill feelings towards her afterwards, which I thought was interesting, I guess. But yeah, I guess his life kind of took a different turn after that, so... It's good to know he's doing better. Anyway, I just thought that was interesting, so... Alright, so let's get back into it. So we're still on Season 9, we're moving to Chapter 2 now. Manic Pixie Dream Nerd. Yeah, I thought that was, was funny. So in the last video, I was kind of having... I was struggling trying to think of a voice for Nano, right? Because I kind of used up my whole vocal range with all the other characters. But someone gave me an interesting, like, suggestion. Like, to use a combination of my Yamabuki voice and then my Miyu voice. I thought that would be kind of interesting. So, let's see. My Yamabuki voice, it's kind of like my regular voice, only more high-pitched. And a little bit more sassy. Kind of like Valley Girl-esque. I mean, it's not like full on, oh my god, you know, stuff like that, but... I was trying to put a little bit more sass into it. And then Miyu... What I did with her is like... Like with the with the Cuddy, like I used... Like I, made, I gave her a high-pitched voice. 
And then with Miyu, I lowered the pitch of that a little bit, and she's also slightly more nasally. So yeah, that that's kind of the voices I did there. Let's see. So essentially, it would be like a sassy Miyu. I'm thinking. Uh, I'm go we're gonna see if we can play with this in a bit. It's gonna be interesting. Okay. So the day after Nanoo transferred to our school, I place my bag on my seat and say hello to Nanoo, who's already reading in the seat next to mine. Yo, Nanoo. Ah. Uh Nano inst instantly tucks the book away in her desk. Then she faces me and smiles. Okay. So let's see. Yamabuki. This is Yamabuki. Yeah, kind of something like that. And Miyu. How can I combine these two? This is this is Miyu. You know. Let's see. How can I combine the two of those? Uh... So it's like a sassy Miyu. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Let's see. Uh, good morning, Mitsuge. Kinda. We're gonna roll with that. I think I got something here. Okay. What were you reading, and why did you hide it? Good morning, Mitsuge. Yes, we've covered that already. Anyway, about the book. Ha! Ha ha! Whatever do you mean? Do 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 do. Nano averts her gaze and unnaturally starts to whistle. <sighs> Whatever. It's obvious she doesn't want me to know, so I stop pushing her to tell me and change topics. By the way, Nano, could you find your way back to your dorm yesterday? Yeah, it was no problem. I already know my way around. Miyu gave me a tour and whatnot. Oh, so Miyu helped you. I feel a burning sensation heat up in the corners of my eyes. What the hell? Miyu, who used to be so meek, offered to help her senpai on her own accord. Hey. Miyu's coming around, okay. Aw, oh, you're a big girl now, Miyu. Yeah, I'll say. Right? She's a really sweet, tender girl. Yeah, they do look soft and bountiful. Compared to hers, mine are just... Ugh. Nano is star staring at her chest for some reason, wearing a troubled look. <laughs> I really feel like we're not talking about the same thing right now. Ahem. Mitsuge, Kashima-san, good morning. Hmm? Oh, Enju, what are you doing here? Your seat's over there, you know. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm so sorry I came over here to tell you good morning. That's not what I meant. I mean, I really appreciate appreciate you coming over to say hello. Good morning, Enju. Ohayou gozaimasu! Good morning. Ah, d don't get the wrong idea. I just heard you two talking, so I decided to come over. Ah, the cliché sundere. Hmm? I thought I heard Nano mutter something, but eh, I guess it was just my imagination. I heard what you two were talking about. And Mitsuge, I think you should be worried more about yourself before you start worrying about Kashima-san. What's that supposed to mean? We're getting yesterday's test back in homeroom today, and you have to take the makeup test if you failed. Wait, since when? Ooh. Thought so. You okay? Mm. Do I look okay? Morning. What's wrong, Mitsuge? You look pale. I'm fine. Damn. Like, I'm fine, goddammit. <laughs> like, alright, chill. Just as I predicted, the bad feeling I had becomes a reality. He failed, didn't he? No way. This grade. I really hope this test is out of 50. This is the lowest I've ever gotten on a test before. The math portion is especially devastating. Mitsuke, how'd you do? Yamabuki takes a peek at my answer sheet. Stop! Uh. Yamabuki averts her gaze with a grave look on her face. I... I'm sorry. You could have at least laughed it off with me. 
Oh no, my grades have gotten worse too. I was in the hospital for a long time after all. Oh yeah, when the chocolate poisoning. Oh, I know. Johnny, let's compare our test scores. He probably did... With this guy being in the hospital, I imagine he still did slightly better. Hmm? Sure, okay. On three. One, two, three. Go! My score is five points lower than last time. I'm so embarrassed. Johnny's grade is even higher than the average score of our last test. This is what a bad score looks like to you? Traitor, off with his head. Why is that? The scores on the math portion this time were all pretty bad. The average was even lower than usual. What? If the average was low, then that means the borderline for the makeup test is low as well. Basically, there's a chance I don't have to take the makeup test altogether. There are three people whose scores were especially extraordinary. First up, Mitsuke. You just barely... I, I just barely passed? Failed. You failed by one point. Damn. Thought so. No surprise here. Next up, Nano. Ah. Nano failed too? Outstanding job. You were the only one who got a perfect score on the math portion. Damn. P -p -p perfect score? I naturally look over at Nano to find her bashfully lowering her gaze. And last but not least, Rika. Uh oh. Uh, how's Rika doing? What? Rika, don't tell me she also. <sighs> A two? Seriously? I guess that's impressive in its own right. Damn. I can't believe he told everybody. Terrible. Rude. Rika shakes her desk with a clutter and stands. Thank goodness there's always someone worse off than you. <laughs> That's kind of a terrible way to think, but... Whatever. Anyway, you two will be the only ones taking the makeup test. Hey, look at the time. The bell rings, bringing an end to our death sentences, aka morning homeroom. Michige, Rika, the makeup test is tomorrow. Study hard. The homeroom teacher steps down from the platform to deliver the final blow. Yes, sir. Rika draws closer and looks at me with eyes void of all life. Help. Don't ask me for help. Anyway, Nano, wow! You got a perfect score in the math portion. I, uh, I just got lucky. You don't have to be so rude about it. Enju usually gets the highest score in the class, but Nano got a perfect score, huh? Hey, Enju, how'd you do? Uh-oh. What? Makeup test? You too? Not even close. Gla <sighs> Rika, don't die on me now. Grades aren't everything in life. Mitsuke... Thank you. Farewell. B besides, I only lost in the math portion, but who knows how we compare overall. Then let's check out the other sections of the test. Come to Mama. Yoink! Ah, uh, to stop Nobuki swipes Nano's test paper. You shouldn't take things without permission. I say as I also peek at Nano's test scores. She scored high in every section of the test. She got a perfect score in the chemistry portion as well. Whoa! Uh, amazing! Nano, goddess amongst men. While Yamabuki Rika is straight up showering Nano with praise, Enju, who lost her spot as number one, is grimacing. Uh Jealousy! Wow, you, you're really good at math and science. I'm more of a humanities person if I had to choose, so... But none of those scores in humanities are all over 90. And you, you? <laughs> High 80s. Studying's the only thing I'm really good at, that's all. 
Nano looks away and mutters in the voice so soft nobody can hear it. Say something? N nope. <laughs> Looks like Andrew's now got herself a formidable rival. <laughs> you sure you should be laughing right now? What's that supposed to mean? Have you already forgotten what the teacher said, Mr. Makeup Test? Qu Whoosh. Just the wind flying by. Whoosh. Machiyuki san, where do you think you're going? Get back here. You're gonna get hit with even more work if you fudge up this makeup test. Don't wanna live on this planet anymore. So tomorrow's the makeup test. Just studying like I always do isn't going to get me ready. I usually have Andrew Okari help me study before a test. But I feel like even that's not going to be enough. Mitsuke, let's elope. <laughs> what? Psych, tonight. Let's run away. That's a good backup plan. Let's get our stuff together if it comes to it. Is that seriously something you're considering? Or just freeze the answer sheet? That we won't even be able to write anything. Then freeze the entire school. Sounds like something you'd actually do. <laughs> anyway. Nano. I slam both palms down on Nano's desk. Don't be so assertive like that, dude. It what? what? Rika almost immediately catches on and shoots a piercing gaze at Nano as well. Nano, I know we've only known you for a day, and it's weird of me to ask this, but I will never ask you for help again after this. Same here. What are you getting at? For me, no, for us. Please help us study for the test. Toskete kudasai. Wait, what? <laughs> At the school. I'm so sorry for being late. It was my turn to clean up after class today and... Huh? Oh. After the first year students show up to the club room a little late, they glance over the room with their mouths agape. Howdy there, Miu Miu, and good afternoon to you too, Sai. What are you guys doing just standing there? Come in and have a seat. Sure, but... What is Nano-senpai doing in the club room? Good question. Wearing a bitter smile is all Nano can do in response to Miu's re reasonable doubt. Huh? What are Onichan and Wika doing with their textbooks open? Sai, please let them be for now. It's for the best. We're having a study group! A study group? These two unfortunately failed their first test after the holidays. <laughs> Carly breaks down when and why I came to this. Oh, so they asked Nano-senpai to help them, since she got the highest score on the test. Hmm? But why are you going out of your way to study for the test? Shouldn't you already know anything if you listen during class? Must be easy. High performance android. Android? Oh, uh. Crap. A normal person like Nano wouldn't understand. Uh. Oh, you know, the OS on Psy Cell. Hmm? You're hiding something. N no, we're not hiding a thing. Exactly. I don't have anything to hide. Psy clings on to me and glares at Nano. If anything, I bet you're the one hiding something, Nano. Sai never ceases to surprise me. Come on, Sai, you shouldn't doubt others without any evidence. He, he, he's right. Why would you even think I'm hiding something? Huh? Looks like she is hiding something. I, I'm just your average, quiet, beautiful teenage girl. Do, 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 do. Relax, Nano. You've already proven you're not even really that quiet. What? <laughs> Whatever could you mean? <laughs> no matter how you look at it, it's like she's basically telling us she's hiding something. But that actually makes me feel a bit relieved. Because seeing her get so worked up makes it pretty clear her secret's not that big a deal. <laughs> Come on, Sai, leave her alone. I mean, why are you so hard on Nano anyway? 
That's a good question. Because I hate sequits. You don't say. Anyway, stop studying and play with me, Onichan. Studying's for boring people. Hey, stop shaking me. Sai, stop bothering me to get senpai. Hmm. Thanks, Miu. Ah. <laughs> now that I think about it, you two had to take a test yesterday too, right? How'd you do? Great! It was a piece of cake! I also... Miu placed a hand on her lips next to Sai, who's giving us the thumbs up. Uh, actually, I... I didn't do so well. I didn't fail, but there are some things I don't really understand. Oh, really? Then do you want to join our study group too? Think of it as my way of paying you back for always helping me out back at the dorm. I mean, if you're okay with me teaching you, that is. I'd love that. Thank you so much. Mitsuke-senpai, I hope you don't mind me sitting next to you. Miyu gives an exaggerated bow and takes a seat next to me. <laughs> Man, Miyu's really close. I'm almost touching her arm every time I move my pen. So Miyu, what subject did you have trouble in? Ah! Sweat begins to drip from Miyu's face as she panics for some reason. Um, math? Uh, like... Multiplication tables? I'm pretty sure you wouldn't be enrolled in the school if you couldn't even do your multiplication tables. <laughs> what, what's wrong, Miu? <sighs> Nothing. I think a little suspicious, Miu sends me a mysterious gaze. I'm just casually thinking about how many people have been freaking out. Nah, no. Question. Sure, is there something you don't understand? This question, what language? Get your act together. <laughs> while we're both, while we bother Nano with question after question, our study time continues for almost an hour. Phew. <laughs> Thanks, Nano. I'm sorry for all the trouble my underclassmen caused you. Lily places a cup of tea down before Nano. It's not a problem, thank you. I heard you were good at math and science. Yeah, I love sci-fi comic- Ah! I used to enjoy a good sci-fi novel, which got me interested in science. Oh, you like science. Me too. Yeah, I'm actually really into quantum theory. I once played a game about- Ahem. <clears throat> I used to read every theory I got my hands on. What specifically do you like about it? I... Wow, she's asking some tough questions. I listened in on their conversation while solving some practice problems for the test. How do you feel about neutrinos? Oh shit, neutrinos. That's one I haven't learned about in a long time. Good question. Actually, I think that... Hmm... Yabuki yeah, hides in the shadow of the desk while sneaking her away, her away closer behind Nano. Okay. Nano is so focused on her discussion that she doesn't notice that hand of evil closing in. And just like that, Yabuki yeah, fondles Nano's chest from behind. Yes, that's. <coughs> Makes sense that Lily would notice since she's facing Nano. But Nano herself still hasn't caught on. What the heck is going on? Oh my, what do we have here? We have, in my opinion... Amazing boobs, even compared to the others in the Ninja Seeking Club. And they're freaking soft! And that's the conclusion I reached. What? Interesting. This new theory is probably going to cause controversy within the scientific community, but... Just being big is nothing. Being both big and soft is what makes you a true hero. In my honest opinion, of course, I don't plan on completely throwing the existing theories out of the window because... There are advantages to a big rack, but nothing beats a big rack that's also soft. But I believe there's some truth in both sides. Everyone's different, but everyone's special. Soft, beautiful, massive breasts are amazing. Which is my argument. <laughs> I could not even hear a word of Nanoa's argument. Wait, my chest feels a little funny. 
Even Nano finally notices, so she gazes down at her chest. But Yamabuki has already drawn her hands away, so Nano has no idea what just happened. However, Yamabuki hastily tries to make her escape by grabbing her by the wrist. Yamabuki. <laughs> Hmm? How'd they feel? Don't creep on people not in the club. I wish I were you. Ah. Don't creep on people not in the club. Yamabuki, Nano's not a member of our club. Stop creeping on people not in the club. Creeping? Could you be more specific? You know, inappropriately t t t t Ugh. I'm so embarrassed. I mean, what'd be the fun in touching your Mitsuke? Oh, and don't say, ooh, it's disgusting. Then why'd you do it? I mean, I'm no better for just sitting there, but yeah. Oh, Miu, is there anything you need help with? M me You haven't asked many questions. You don't need to worry about bothering me, okay? Oh, uh... Miu, not always a good teacher, so if you have any questions, now's your chance. Questions? I wonder if Michiki-senpai only looks at me like a little sister. Oh, God. <laughs> huh? Hmm? Uh, uh, I mean, I need help solving this problem. Miu opens her study guide and points to a problem. This one? You can solve this using the equation they teach you in the third semester during your first year, you know? I, I thought maybe I should just prepare for future lessons. Future lessons? Aren't you getting a little ahead of yourself? Mitsuke. Rika then tugs on my sleeve and whispers into my ear. Miu, great grades in math. Definitely understands what's being taught. Seriously? Then why is she asking Nao to help her study? Because. Because. No clue. Why Miu? Why, Nano? Y you too, huh? Well, makes sense. Miu does seem somewhat more complex in nature than Rika. Really? It's clear how dedicated you are to learning. <laughs> this problem here, you see, is... Wait. Rika-senpai? Miu, I'm your senpai. I'll teach you. Rika, stop while you're ahead. Being awkwardly competitive is fine, but you're just going to embarrass yourself. Can't do first year math problems. No problem. Miu. That was the okay choice. God damn it. Ugh. It's hard to know. Okay, about this problem here. Hmm. Rika looks at the question in the study guide and instantly freezes. Uh-oh. This question. Know the answer. Piece of cake. Really easy. Too easy for me. Yep. Uh, uh, Rika-senpai? So how should I go about solving it? Uh-huh. Nice problem. Rika, stop. I can only cringe so hard. <laughs> Incidentally, I also had a look at the problem, but it just looked like gibberish to me. Oh, Mitsuke. What do you want? I'm studying, you know. Yeah, clearly. Anyway, the new anime this season. Do you, do you ever listen? You know the anime that was originally a book? That sci-fi series called The Melancholy of Haruhi Hyoka? Wow. Don't you think that one's just a little on the nose? Just a little bit. I was trying to decide whether to watch that. I read the novel. Pretty fantastic stuff. Really? <laughs> the heroine was so cute, the protagonist was a little sick in the head, though. Sounds interesting. Excuse me. Huh? Did I just hear an angry grunt coming from Nano's direction? Hmm, is something the matter? Nano is brilliantly smiling back at me just like she always does. Guess it was just my imagination. So, what's it about? 
A group of students in the same club go around campus and try to solve mysteries. What kind of school club was it again? A go home and do nothing club? Pretty sure that's not a club. Oh yeah, the what the hell is this then? <laughs> this guy. The literature club? But the main character's personality really wasn't doing it for me. He's apathetic and handsome and all, but he had almost like a signature phrase. What was it again? I don't do what I don't want to do? Bam. Tch. Nano abruptly stands and slams her hands on the desk. Nano, what's wrong? <laughs> uh... You completely butchered it! Huh? What? Yamabuki-san, he says I do what I have to, just with minimal effort. And it's not even his signature phrase, it's his motto. Please don't mix the two up. Nano? And that's not all. He's not apathetic, he's just trying to use the bare minimum amount of effort to get things done. If you ask me, using the simplest method for maximum efficiency makes him a rationalist among rationalists. Don't you dare make him sound like some generic lethargic protagonist! Damn. Nano, relax! Oh yeah, and one more thing. The Literature Club. They're in the Literature Club. I don't ever want to hear a noob like you spew nonsense about the melancholy of Haruhi Hyoka again! <laughs> the air in the room has gotten tense. This is some sort of misunderstanding. That that just now, that was... Nano returns to her senses and immediately shakes her hands while squirming about. But after that impassioned speech, it was too late. Nano, are you...? Could it be that Nano's... What, 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 what? Come on, tell me. Guys, you're looking at me like I'm some sort of... Uh... No, no way, nope. I'm not. Never in a million years would I... Heh. <laughs> Fascinating. Please, don't say it. We, uh, boo. We, uh, boo. Oh. Otaku! You're a nerd! No! Nano grabs her head and squats in place. Ouch, only the second day at her new school and she's already out of character. Ah, uh, I tried so hard to hide it. I can't believe I didn't even make it through the second day. Don't mean to burst your bubble, but it was kind of obvious. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All I wanted was to hide my otaku passions and enjoy my school life in peace. What's wrong with being an otaku? I mean... Like just own it. I mean, that's what makes you you. Trying to hide it, then you're denying a part of yourself. So, life lessons that none of you asked for. <sighs> I'm going to be at the bottom of the school social pyramid again. Back to life as a pathetic nerd, I guess. Oh. Uh... So she's worried she's not gonna have any friends if she if they know she's a nerd. Okay. All alone, unable to make any real friends, spending every day talking to friends online about anime. That's kind of depressing, actually. <laughs> Nano, pull yourself together. What harem protagonist Mitsuge? Whatever could you want with a background character who's not even worth any screen time, like me? You're not a background character technically, considering you're one of the main routes in this season. <laughs> so. What are you calling a harem protagonist? And how did you lose your backbone so quickly? Don't worry about me. It was my fault for having unrealistic expectations for my Mizaki school debut. Pathetic rats like me should have stayed in their holes and hiding. Heh. <laughs> Damn. It's kind of harsh. <laughs> with a lifeless smile, Nano sits on the floor, where she starts to draw circles with her finger. Nano? What do you want, Mr. Popular? Oh, don't mind me. I'm used to sitting in corners. It makes me feel relaxed anyway. How can you say that? I mean... 
I'm a nerd too. I'm a nerd too, you know. Huh? How the hell does she not? How is she? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, don't tell me you didn't know this. I mean, he wasn't. E this guy wasn't even hiding it, and she didn't even know. Are you kidding me? Wow. I was so busy worrying about myself that I didn't even pay attention to anyone else. Uh oh, huh? Well, just so you know, Johnny and Yamabuki are nerds too. Really? I thought. I totally thought they were just filthy casual scum. Damn. Rude. Ouch. <laughs> Itayo. Wow, we're all the same. We're all nerds. Yep, but let's work on being politer next time. I know she doesn't mean any harm. She's just naturally a real life troll. Anyway, nobody cares that you're a nerd. We're all your friends, okay? You're okay being friends with a spineless, antisocial girl like me? Uh, I think I might be having second thoughts. <laughs> I knew it! I'm kidding. Come on, let's talk about the season's anime together. Okay. Oh, but please don't talk to me during class about anything nerdy. I don't want my classmates to know. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> she sure knows how to be a pain in the butt. <laughs> After school that day, Nano leaves the study group early to go to the school's archery club. Oh, we're gonna watch her shoot some arrows. She joined the club yesterday, but today's the first day she's actually going to participate in the club activities. Nice to meet- oh, that, that's a cool outfit. Hell yeah. Pretty damn cool. N nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you too, Kashima-san. What club are you in at your old school? Ha! <laughs> I, I... I was in the archery club then too. Oh, so it looks like you're experienced. Don't lie to these people. We should probably be the ones learning things from you then, senpai. Uh, oh, no. I don't have too much experience. It was a small club that didn't do much. <laughs> you don't have to be so modest. To tell the truth, there aren't many people in the club with archery experience. Wait, really? The only third-year student with experience is me, and you're the only second-year student in the club. And all the first-year students started archery after enrolling in the school. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm so grateful you joined Kashima-san. Just the firepower we needed. Uh-oh. Uh, that sucks to be, like, the only person in the club that's experienced. And then just to have someone join and think that they're experienced, but it turns out they're not. <laughs> so it's like, damn. Ha! Th thank you so much! Oh, hey, no, no, senpai show us how it's done! Wait, what? Yeah, come on, we'd love to see someone that could properly shoot unlike the manager. Damn. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Some people say my technique's a little sloppy, but yeah. But seriously, Kashima-san really looks like she has beautiful technique. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah! We're getting there. Come on, guys. I, I didn't even bring my bow today. Please use my bow, Nano Senpai. Uh oh. Uh, okay. Unable to say no to those sparkling eyes, Nano swallows her spit and takes the bow. Then, she stands before the archery range and beautifully draws the bowstring. The wind direction is just right. Now imagine the eight stages of shooting. Mind on the bow. Whoa, like she's really getting into it. Ha! Swoosh, doink. Nano's arrow not only missed the target, it doesn't even make it halfway there. <laughs> uh, but what? She missed? Th that's strange. I'm sure I correctly calculated the wind speed, gravitational pull, and projectile speed. Uh, sounds more like you're using a sniper rifle to me. Uh, oh, I know. It must be because I'm using a different bow than usual. The string on this bow is a little loose and all. The tensile strength is completely different from the bow I'm used to. 
so must have slowed down the arrow. Then, gravity came into effect, causing my arrow not to go as far as calculated. Y yep lol. <laughs> yep, that's what happened. Um, Nano-senpai? Kashima-san, do you really not know how to shoot a bow? Lol. <laughs> Nano's position in the archery club was set in stone that day. Nano had prior experience, yet she's even worse than the first year students who now don't know how to act around her. And just like the arrow she shot, Nano's life as their senpai came crashing down. Damn. The next day! There was a tiny glitch in the matrix at our study group yesterday, but all went well other than that. The makeup test is after school today. As I'm psyching myself up, some trouble starts brewing in the corner of the classroom. It was you, wasn't it? It wasn't me! What's going on? A girl is blaming some guy for something which he's firmly denying, and their argument goes on and on and on. Excuse me. Good morning. Morning, Nano. You see that new anime last night? Mm -hmm. Oops, my bad. Nano told me yesterday that we weren't allowed to talk about nerdy things in the classroom. I'm really sorry. By the way, Nano. <laughs> yes? What are they fighting about over there? I have no clue either. Mitsuke, is now really the time to be worrying about others? The makeup test today, you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know. She's right, now's not the time to be caring about others. Or so I thought. It was during lunch that day. Not all and everyone in the interesting club are eating together when... A serial groper? Yeah, they say he's been showing up a lot lately around campus. Peeking into the girls' bathroom on dr or dressing room, pulling up the skirts of schoolgirls on their way to school. He's even getting the highest scores on all the games at the arcade. What I'm trying to say is he's raising havoc on the city. I had no idea. Wow. Hmm. Okay, so what's the non choice here? So jealous, outrageous, or I'm worried. Try the outrageous. Outrageous. Mitsuki, these kinds of people make you sick. Of course they do. Gropers? Not in my city. Just you wait, you punk. Makes me sick. It's just not fair. I want to touch them too. So. Who is he? Rika asks Akari while stuffing a fried noodle hot dog in her mouth. They said the serial groper was wearing a Mizaki school uniform. Really? He's apparently really good at running away too, so nobody knows who he is. Wait, so these those two have been fighting all morning because... Exactly! Nobody knows what the groper looks like, so every guy at the school is a suspect. So Mitsuke is a suspect too then? He does look like he'd do something like this, so... Oh, shut up. It's created a really strained atmosphere at the school right now, with the girls accusing the guys of being the groper. Apparently having one of our students wreak havoc on the town is really tarnishing the school's name, too. Mr. Kuzurio was really depressed. Don't you think this is some isn't something we can look away from, Mr. Araya? What do you mean? We of the Ninja Seeking Club need to punish this mysterious pervert who's putting our school in danger! I knew that's where this was heading. Wait, wait, wait. This has nothing to do with our club. Mr. Araya, you don't dare say you're really comfortable letting evil run freely in the world, do you now? Akali, you're breaking character. Ah, it's no use. She's not listening to anything I'm saying. Why do we have to punish someone who's not even a ninja? We can't be so sure about that. Oh. Oh yeah! 
Really? You too? What? He's been getting away with so many wild crimes, and yet nobody's seen his face. Don't you think it's strange that everyone knows he wears a school uniform, but none of them know what his face looks like? He could very well be a new ninja sent out to attack us by tarnishing Mizaki School's name. Brilliant deduction, Lily-san! Yeah, I guess this is a job for the Ninja Seeking Club, if there's a high chance he's a ninja. Wait, guys, do you seriously believe ninjas exist? Excuse me? Relax, Mitsuke, she doesn't mean any harm. Besides, I can't tell Nanao about the existence of ninjas. While trying to think of a way to play this off, Lily pats Nanao on the shoulder. Nanao, I know how you feel, but I want you to try to remember our club's name. The Ninja Seeking Club? Oh! Right. For example, was someone who didn't believe in UFOs joined the Occult Research Club? <laughs> it, yeah, that makes sense. So what you're saying is that you all believe in ninjas just like innocent children? Exactly. Oh, I'm different though. I'm just doing it because they're my friends. It makes complete sense now. So Mitsuke is still a kid at heart, right? Exactly. Call me Peter Pan. <laughs> Flies into children's bedrooms and kidnaps them to take them to a magical place called Neverland. Yeah. That doesn't scream pedophile all over it. Nano, nodding in agreement, appears to be satisfied with Lily's explanation. Wow, Lily. Can't believe you pulled that off. I do feel a little psychologically damaged, though. <laughs> this guy. So, after school today, the Ninja Seeking Club's going after that Groper Hentai. Let's catch that criminal and protect the school. Ninja Seeking Club, who? <laughs> Hooray! Everyone's unenthusiastic reply clashes. They've completely forgotten the two of us have makeup tests after school today, haven't they? More like the Hentai Seeking Club now. <laughs> I can hear Rika mutter to herself while she casually eats her fried noodle hot dog by my side. Okay. Welcome. Next episode preview corner. Rika, the hentai seeking club here. And me, Mew, S senpai. It's the ninja seeking club. Oh yeah. Oops. Give me a break. Anyway. Next episode preview. The newest incident is all the talk at school. Finally get to the bottom of the matter. Yep, now things are getting exciting. It finally feels like the season started, you know? Just a groper. Kind of a weak start. Th there's nothing wrong with the slow beginning. Whatever. Anyway, chapter 3. It ain't me. Enjoy. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, hey, so now we're back to regular Now we're back to our regular chapter lengths Now the videos won't be as long Because I had somebody telling me that in the last video. Oh your videos are a little long man. So I'm like, okay <laughs> But anyway So next video we're gonna be looking for Somebody <laughs> going around school groping all the girls around. Interesting. I don't know about you guys, but I, I'm kind of liking the new Nano voice. I'm having fun with it. <laughs> it feels like I have like schizophrenia or something, like with all these voices I'm trying to do. <laughs> I don't know, that, that, the not old voice I feel kind of fits, I guess. Like, I feel it's just slightly different enough to where it still stands out. <laughs> but anyway, I think that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, you can let me know by leaving a like or telling me in the comments below. Subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Alright, peace.